This is the Carbon ROM on Redmi Note 3. Hey what's going on guys, this is Tito back with another custom ROM video and I gotta say, I'm loving this ROM on my Redmi Note 3. Well, I'll show you why but make sure you watch the video till the end. The ROM is smooth enough for daily driving, yes it's snappy, yes it looks similar to stock Android and on top of that, it has some nifty little things that other ROMs simply doesn't. So we have a modified pixel launcher over here which does show power app notification numbers on your home screen. You have Google Now cards to the left of the home screen and you can customize the home screen, app drawer, app icons and some other stuff. You can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the notification drawer. Nightlight is working fine here so you don't have to worry about browsing internet even when you are sleepy. Let me show you the most interesting thing that I found over here. Well, it's inside display settings. But do note that that I couldn't found the option to change UI color or accent color. So it might be added in the future with software updates. But right now it's not present over here. I think so. Now let's talk about the most interesting feature. In this ROM, you can change the whole UI fonts to these eight options. I am already using the Poppins one. So here we go, the Roboto font looks like this, the Poppins font, the XO2, the NK57, note that after applying each font, you should reboot the device once so that it can take the full effect. Next the Nunito font, I've already showed you the Poppins one, so moving on to Storopia. Next is the Titanium Web and the last one is Ubuntu font. I don't know if you will like it or not but in my opinion you will either like it or just hate it. If you ask me, well I like the Poppins font so I am using it but there is one problem that I have noticed regarding these fonts. Well in some apps like the YouTube comments over here, some parts of the fonts is a little bit buggy so you may have to assume things. Here as you can see the small G word is almost hidden to the bottom and it happens to most of the comments if it has a G word. So that's how it is. Here we have a system update checker app but this one I have flashed over here is the latest build 12 June 2018 already so there is no new update. So let me show you the about section now. Running on top of Android 8.1 audio, 12 June 2018 build again. Security patch is of June 5th, 2018, the latest one. The stock kernel over here is Carbon ROM's own kernel, I guess. Well, now let me show you one more interesting thing. Guess what it is? Well, it's the banking apps like this works right after flashing the ROM. So there is no need to flash Magisk and use Magisk Hide, which is really, really cool. Here is a pretty cool boot animation of this ROM. Now let me show you the customizations in this ROM. But before that, let me tell you that customizations present over here is nowhere close to Nitrogen OS or Resurrection Remix. But don't get me wrong, there are still plenty of customizations present over here. So all of it is present inside fibers in the settings. You get it because carbon fibers are pretty cool. Inside system, we have option to enable advanced reboot. You can further add things like screenshot or settings in the power menu itself and some other stuff from here. We have screen of CRT animation which looks pretty cool and we do have the status bar double tap to sleep option over here as you can see. And my specific image scanner is working fine here. We have some volume option customizations for do not disturb mode. Then we have got recent apps panel customizations from here. In the recent apps panel on the top we have the memory bar then we have this clear all button yes you can change the position of it if you want to and yeah you can lock any particular app if you want them to keep in memory moving on to status bar we have song change ticker inside status bar items we have option like headset bluetooth etc but you have to note one thing here that there is no icon for vault e 
but yeah faulty calls does work just fine over here after that we have clock and date customizations you can customize the battery style to circle dotted circle or square you can change the battery percentage position too you can change the notification appearance to heads up or ticker or even both at the same time moving on to lock screen we do have this display charging info option but I don't know why it is just shows charging for me on the lock screen even when this option is turned on. Next we have lock screen shortcuts and auto face unlocking option and yeah I tried it later and yes the face unlock works just fine but make sure you flash this ROM with micro G apps. Moving on to buttons, we have option to enable nav bar or software buttons. And it does have this home button Google Pixel like animation which looks sweet. And we have this long press power button to toggle torch even when the screen is off option which works just fine as you can see. In advanced we have option to disable hardware keys in case you are using software buttons. And the backlight on the capacitive keys are working fine here. Let me just set the timeout for it. You can customize double press or long press action on home, menu or back capacity buttons. I customized the menu button long press action to take a screenshot. Going back into gestures, we have double tap to sleep in the status bar. We even have double tap to sleep on the home screen. And we have double tap to sleep on the lock screen too. But no double tap to wake here. And there is no swipe on the status bar to adjust brightness like other ROMs. I really miss it but yeah it may get added in the future with updates. Inside carbon gestures we have different kind of gestures thingy. You can adjust with how many fingers you want the gestures to be working and you can set different stuff for swipe up, down, right or left. In down gesture let me set the screenshot and show you. It works but it does scroll the screen so you need to be aware of that. Note that you can set other different things too over here. Inside privacy and security we have some other stuff like if you use things like substratum then you can turn on the first option over here and you can hide some specific app to show up in recent apps panel. Now let me show you the camera. Well the stock camera over here is pretty basic so I have installed GC Mod 5 here but note that there are force closes here and there and here are some examples of pictures that I took with GC Mod 5 in this ROM. And I am saying it again, make sure you flash micro G apps while flashing any 8.1 based ROMs, otherwise the camera may not work properly. As you can see it full stopped so you have to be prepared for it, there is no other way to fix this I guess. Now let me open up a few apps so that you guys can get a quick idea about app open up speeds and I will show you the RAM management later on. In the meantime, let me show you the benchmark scores in this ROM. Not too high, but wait for the gaming performance. And here is the battery life that I got with this ROM. I have to say the RAM management over here is awesome as all the apps stayed in memory. So now it's time for the gameplay round. I only played PUBG though and I have to say the performance here was really good. No major frame drops that I noticed or stutters that I faced.
Look at those headshots back to back. And yeah, the phone was getting heated up quite a lot while playing PUBG. It was reaching almost 44 degrees Celsius but can't help it. It's summertime, I am fine with it. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't yet, share this video with your friends if you found it useful. This is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you later with some more awesome stuff.